All right, Rich Mountain Morning Show, man. It's about that time. The one and only Dr. MJ Collier. If you have any questions, hit us up. 866-9-RICKY-866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. Dr. Collier, good morning. Good morning, Ricky Smiley. Mike, check one, two, three. We're on the air and live at the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ah, no, he did <laughs> All right, so Ricky, listen, we now have vaccinated. We got 200 million people in the United States that have been fully vaccinated. That's about 60% of the population. We want to get it up to 80, 85%. And one of the things that's going to help is that they have now authorized the booster shot in the 16 and 17 year old age groups. Why they stop at 16, 17 and then go down to 15 like the virus? like it's already regulated, that's just another step that doesn't make any sense in my mind. But uh, the more people we get vaccinated and boosted, the better. And so right now, they're looking at reformulating the vaccines or should the vaccines be reformulated? Ergo, should they be changed to target variants like the Delta and the Omicron or should they be? You heard them about mixing vaccines now. What that means, they will target the vaccine to a particular variant and then put like a Delta vaccine and an Omicron vaccine all together into one shot and try to cover that. The problem is that the variants are occurring quicker than the science. Now, the, the mRNA vaccines made by Pfizer and Moderna can be quickly uh, changed to target. All they have to do is, is change the mRNA triggers that they have in there and then uh, do some studies for a few months to make sure that they're safe. So that will be easily done. The question is, should they do it? Or should they just boost what we have? Because that seems to be giving us great protection. So if we have boosters, there we go. Okay. There it is. You're on with Dr. Collier. Good morning. Hi. I was calling to get you um, answers about I got the booster shot, the Moderna. And after I got the Moderna booster shot, I had got lip nose swollen. And then I also got blood clots. So I was calling to see if anybody else reported any of these two symptoms that they got from the booster shot. Okay, the lymph node swelling is happening with uh, primary vaccines as well as boosters. Uh, that's one of the reasons they tell women not to get mammograms uh, for a few weeks until after they've had the booster shot because acute lymphangitis, where your lymph node swell can happen, uh, that, re- that then they will give you a false positive mammogram. Uh, there have been no, uh, a lot of reported cases, or no reported cases of blood clots caused by the boosters. Uh, so that is uh, an outlying phenomenon. But I tell people if it happens, if it's one out of a million people and it happens to you, it's 100 percent. So right. uh, I'm not sure whether they're directly linking the booster to that clot, but definitely to the lymph, to the swollen lymph glands. Good morning. I recently had COVID and started having um, pain in my knees, pain in my shoulders, pain in my ankles and hands. I went to the doctor and was told that I have what's called viral arthritis from um, COVID. I like to get his ideas on if he's seen patients with that, how long does it last, and what exactly is causing it. Okay, that's that's inflammation that can get into your joints. So you need to take an anti-inflammatory. But this is a perfect example where supplements like the vitamin D, 5,000 international units per day, and omega-3 fish oil, 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams per day will help naturally by decreasing that inflammation. This is just an inflammatory these are the opinions of Dr. MJ Collier, not those of Ricky Smiley, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show cast, or its production crew. You can reach me on all social media at Ask ASK Dr. MJ. All right, Ricky, have a great weekend, man. You too, man. <laughs>